Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in. My name is Tiffany and I'm here today to talk to you about meditation in today's world and particularly in these uncertain times. We're in uncharted territory and we've been throwing conflicting ideas minute by minute. It's really important for us as individuals to remain calm and rational in these times and that's where your meditation comes into play. So my intention here today is to explain to you the benefits of meditation and how you can find a meditation that works to your lifestyle. Now meditation is the process of removing stress, tension and fatigue from our nervous system. And when stress is removed from our nervous system, we boost ourselves with happy feel good hormones. Now there are many benefits of meditation, but I'm gonna just touch on a few that are probably most prevalent to us in this current climate. For more information on any of these benefits or to look up any extra benefits, please refer to my website, which is tiffanyjacksonmeditation.com. Now one, number, one of the number one benefits of meditation is it really helps with anxiety. And anxiety flares up when we're fixated on the past or the present thoughts. We're not concentrating at the task on hand. So meditation quietens the mind so that we can concentrate on one thought at a time and we're not allowing all those thoughts about the unknown future to rule our brain. Meditation boosts our immunity and it's really important that we remain as healthy as possible. Those that meditate actually get sick less often and when we do get sick, we don't get sick for as often. We want to remain as healthy as possible. We want to eat as healthy as possible and we want our immunity to be as strong as it can be. Meditation allows us more access to our intuition and helps us remain calm. It boosts the brain chemical gamma, which will help us remain calm. It strengthens our prefrontal cortex. This is our reasoning part of our brain. And as this becomes stronger, our amygdala, which is our fight or flight, becomes weaker. We want to strengthen this part. We want our prefrontal cortex to be as strong as possible, as possible so that we can make rational decisions in these times. It boosts our serotonin levels and our endorphins so that we can remain as happy as we can be. We want to stay as positive. Everybody needs to remain as positive as we can be and, and as happy as possible. It helps with our relationships. You know, a lot of us are going into lockdown, we're working from home. Um, it's very, very different circumstances for all of us. And under difficult circumstances, relationships become strained. So we want to make sure that our relationships with those that we love in particular is as strong as possible. We don't want to overreact to situations and we don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. We want the relationship with ourselves to be as strong as possible. What happens when we meditate? We become more self-aware and when we're more self-aware we gain greater wisdom and with greater wisdom that self-awareness really comes to fruition and that's what we need to have. We want to be able to make the best decisions for ourselves and for our family. So I've only touched on a few benefits there and as I said for more information and for lots more benefits that meditation gives you know it slows the aging process it gives us better access to our intuition makes us more creative taps into the gray matter of our brain for all of these extra extra benefits of meditation please refer to my website tiffanyjacksonmeditation.com now like exercise meditation comes in many different strains and what we might be going through your mind right now is, I've tried meditation and had not much success. I can't stop thinking. And these are very perfectly normal questions and thoughts surrounding meditation. So to make it easier, I'm just gonna give you a brief outline on the different types. And I'm gonna silo them into three for you so you've got a good understanding of the many different types of meditation that are out there. So for those that it conjures up an image for you, you think of meditation of sitting cross-legged, burning crystals and holding burning incense and holding crystals and that's one type of meditation referred to as a concentration style of meditation where you can sit for hours on end a lot of us don't have time to do that and it's generally aligned to something spiritually there's then a guided meditation which may have been tapped onto the end of a yoga class or you've downloaded an app not being able to use it to much success or never used it 
there's then a transcending style of meditation, which is the style I teach. And in this style, it's perfectly normal to have thoughts. In fact, um, I encourage you to have thoughts. I teach you how to transcend that thought. And as we rest the mind and body, those thoughts are removed, okay, which helps with your anxiety. So there are the three different types of meditation. As I said, I've made it very simple for you to have a good understanding. It's important that you have um, an understanding of the different types that are out there so you can find the one that works for you. Now I've spent 20 years trialing different types of meditation and the transcending style really works for me because how I teach the meditation is I teach it to integrate it into your life because what works for one individual's timing doesn't necessarily work for another. Getting to a class at 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 7 p.m. is near impossible for many of us with our very busy lives. So I work with the individual to integrate it into your day so that it works for you. So for more information, please make contact with me and I'll talk to you more about the process of teaching you as an individual. My website is tiffanyjacksonmeditation.com. It's important more than ever that you find a meditation that works for you, that we as individuals, boosting our immunity and staying calm. As a collective, we need to stay calm. And meditation really helps with that. It helps us stay calm amidst the chaos that is going on around us. And as individuals, we wanna be at the top of our game. So please reach out to me and I look forward to hearing from you and helping you find a meditation that works for you. Thank you. Stay calm, healthy and rational.